Welcome to today's Big Brother 16 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Daniel Gutierrez. Yay! And he wants to know if I could pick four people from this season to be in an alliance with, who would I pick? So I think I would pick Donnie because he's Donnie. Uh, Amber because I think that she would be good in competitions and I could kind of like help her on the strategy side. Uh, and I guess maybe Derek and Frankie because I, I would not want to be on their bad side. I'll put it that way. Um, I don't know if I'd really want to work with them, but like I said, I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. I'd love to work with Zach, but he's so unpredictable. I don't know. So there you have it. <laughs> Let me know who you guys would work with in the comments. Okay, so there's a new house guest in the mix, and his name is Caleb Holmes. He loves solving mysteries. So he was talking to Christine yesterday, and Caleb's sitting there. He's like, something ain't right. Something's not right right now. So he was like, Nicole gave him different answers about what Amber did or didn't say to her after the power veto ceremony. And he was like, yeah, her answer change, changed when Frankie was around. Yes, keep going, let's pull it out, let's pull it out of you. So, that was that. <laughs> so then, he was also sharing with everyone uh, how much he was crying while trying to record his goodbye message for Amber. Wait, change diaper for baby Caleb. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back to that. So... Victoria was telling Hayden about the conversation that she had with Nicole the other day about Hayden and she was like Hayden, I wasn't lying in bed with you just to like hurt Nicole's feelings. I wasn't doing that for that reason So she explained that Hayden and Derek are like her brothers and they're the only people she can confide in and Hayden was like Don't worry about it. Nothing needs to change. It's all good. I don't think Nicole thinks that. So, there was a real uh-oh moment last night. Caleb, Zach, and Derek were all talking about a potential double eviction coming up. So they were all like, who would you put up? Who would you put up? Who would you put up? So it's Zach's turn, and Zach is like, well, if I was HOH, I'd put up Victoria and Jocasta. Uh, as far as Caleb knows, Jocasta is gone this week. So Zach is like, he realizes and he's like, oh yeah, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> well, don't worry, because Caleb is in his own world and he, it was totally lost on him. He was too busy thinking about some future tattoos that he wants to get. He wants some teardrops on his finger, so when somebody's telling like a sob story, he can be like, Ugh. and he wants uh, this thigh tattoo of like his skin tearing open, and on the inside is an old school bandana, because who wouldn't want that? So anyway, Hayden and Cody were discussing a potential new Final Five alliance. They were thinking it would be like them, Nicole, Derek, and then who would be number five? They thought like, oh, it would be logical to have it be Christine, but they were both saying, mm, I don't know if I really trust Christine. Maybe we should leave her out of this one. And Hayden suggested maybe Donnie should be number five. Cody was like, mm, I don't know, because he doesn't think that Donnie trusts Derek and that's gonna be a problem. So the issue was unresolved because I think somebody like walked in or something, so. I hope they come back to that because that would be pretty interesting and I hope they pick Donnie. So Nicole is still freaking out about the situation that Frankie has just thrown her into. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch yesterday's spoiler. It's the whole Frankie Amber Caleb thing. So she's wondering, maybe like should she just tell Caleb the truth? She doesn't want to deal with this anymore, it's stressing her out, it's ruining her life. So she's like freaking out about it to Derek. And he's like, well, you should go get some advice from Cody or Hayden and uh, leave me alone. So, <laughs> I don't think he wants to deal with that crap. So, meanwhile, while this is happening, Caleb's, Caleb is upstairs with Frankie. He's campaigning for Amber. He's like, Amber's done nothing wrong. She shouldn't be on the block. Really? Because you were all for her going up on the block a few days ago, you 
dingus. I was going to say something else, but I stopped myself. So the Nicole situation comes up, and Frankie is totally making crap up. He's just pulling it out of his ass. Frankie's like, yeah, everything that we all said was true, uh, whatever Amber said was true, whatever Nicole said was true, whatever I said was true, and then he was like, yeah, I mean, I may have misworded what was said, I'm the BB paranoia, uh, I don't know, and it was just like ridiculous, and Caleb was just like, yeah, I get it. So then Frankie starts like fake crying, and he's like, I feel like such an a-hole if Amber goes home this week. <laughs> and then Caleb is crying like a freaking baby. And Frankie goes over and hugs him. Ca uh, Caleb is like the weirdest crier I've ever seen. Because he pulls out two tissues from the tissue box. He has one tissue per eye. He's just like, what the hell is that? Alright, so there was a big pool tournament. <laughs> Stop. There was a big pool tournament with the guys last night. Yay! Don't you guys love when they do that? No. So this huge argument broke out. There was a lot of um, controversy with this one shot or something. I don't know. Who freaking cares? So things got pretty heated. It was pretty much the biggest fight of the season so far, which is not saying much. But yeah, it wasn't a real fight. But things really did get heated. They're all just like, no, bruh, this is what I saw. And you, oh, come on, dude, no, bruh. No! It was a lot of that. So, later on during the pool tournament, stop. <laughs> later on during the pool tournament, Zach freaking ruined the pool table! He took this one shot that like ruined the felt on this one part. He was trying to fix it. I don't know. That's, that's gonna come out of your stipend. Not really, but it sucks. So, maybe they'll stop having pool tournaments. Maybe it doesn't suck. Who am I kidding? So anyway, the detonators were debating all day yesterday, all throughout the day, whether or not they should tell Caleb prior to... Why are you laughing? <laughs> whether or not they should tell Caleb prior to the eviction. <laughs> oh, I need two tissues right now because I'm laughing so hard. Okay, so the detonators were debating all day, all throughout the day yesterday, whether or not they should tell Caleb prior to the eviction that Amber's going home. Okay, so here's the pros and cons. They don't want him to get pissed and go after them. That's a biggie. But they really want that blind side. Again, that's another biggie. They just think it would be hilarious to see Caleb go all cry mode cowboy, as if they haven't seen it enough. Um, so they discuss possibly like splitting the votes so that they're like, oh, bro. It wasn't us. I don't know. But then they decide, no, that's too risky. We're not going to take a chance on that. So eventually they're like, okay, well, there's going to be no convincing him that Amber has to go. So we're going to have to blindside him and just explain it to him right after. Okay, so Amber and Christine had a really interesting conversation in the beehive room last night. Amber's like, the girls need to stick together. And Christine's like, Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so right, Amber. <laughs> That's my Christine impression. She's always doing that. So Amber's like, guess what, biatch? If I'm still here and I win HOH, I'm going to put up Caleb. If you want me to put up Caleb, I'm going to put him up. You guys are not my targets. So Christine is like, oh, really? So after that, Christine runs and tells Derek, Zach, and Frankie that... Caleb is now Amber's target. What? So then they're all talking. Derek, Frankie, and Christine are talking in the beehive room. And they're like, maybe we should keep Amber. She's not coming after us, so like, it could be good to keep her. Well, I don't know. So then, after a little bit of discussion about it, they're like, nah, she has to go. We've already put up with so much with the drama with those two this week. We don't want to relive that when we have to finally get rid of Amber. <sighs> bummer. So it was time to drop a knowledge bomb on Caleb with all this new information. So Frankie, Cody, Zach, Derek, and Caleb were all in the HOH room. This happened around 2 a.m. I want to say. Um, so Frankie was just like, yo, Caleb, Amber said that you're her new target. And he was just like, come on, did she really say that? What really made it hit home for him 
was when Kay, uh, Cody was like, yeah, she said that to me. She did say it. So right after he says that, Caleb freaking storms out of the HOH room crying. I bet he was wishing he had two tissues with him. So yeah, he runs down to the bathroom, goes to the sink, <sighs> splashing his face with water. He's pacing around the house. I didn't see it myself, but I heard that he freaking gave Amber this death stare when he ran into her. I didn't see where that happened, but everyone was saying it. So he goes out to the backyard. He goes on the hammock. He needs some cool down time. People are trying to talk to him. He's like, Cody, not now. I, I'm not talking right now. So then after he has a little bit of time to just relax, he goes back up to the HOH room. And he's like, well, what do I do? Should I tell Amber that I know? Should I tell her she's going home? They're like, no, don't tell her. So he's like, all right, this is going to be great. She's going home. I'm going to make her final two days of living hell. What? What have you been doing this whole time? Haven't you already been doing that? Because it looked a lot like hell to me. So I can only imagine what he's planning. I know there are going to be pranks, or at least that's what he wants. He's also planning to make some sort of speech during the live show. He wants to be all, uh, Julie, can I say something real quick? I hope he says that, and Julie's like, sit your ass down. That would just be the best. All right, so that's all I have for today. Uh, tomorrow, let's see if Caleb spills the beans. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and until then, much love. Edit. Yeah.